devices today from your television to your console are Wi-Fi friendly. But there's actually a distinct difference between these built-in Wi-Fi motherboards vs Wi-Fi cards. But the real question is, how do they differ in terms of their performance? Here in this video, we will compare Wi-Fi vs Wi-Fi card vs Wi-Fi USB in terms of their characteristics and performance. So, let's get started. What is onboard Wi-Fi? An onboard Wi-Fi basically means that the motherboard has a Wi-Fi mode built in. This is perhaps simplest way to build a desktop where you absolutely need a Wi-Fi connection. However, onboard Wi-Fi is supported only in certain motherboards. Pros of onboard Wi-Fi Eliminates the cost of purchasing extra components. For users who absolutely need Wi-Fi, a motherboard with onboard Wi-Fi capability pre-installed will eliminate the cost of purchasing an extra component. Great for certain builds and motherboard form factors with onboard Wi-Fi. People without access to cable networks can access their networks immediately after finishing their builds. Another important benefit is that an onboard Wi-Fi saves you from utilizing your precious PCIe slots. This is particularly important on motherboard that have limited PCIe slots such as on a mini ITX motherboard. Cons of onboard Wi-Fi No performance difference to be expected. Compared to a PCIe Wi-Fi card, there isn't any visible performance difference between onboard or a PCIe Wi-Fi card. The actual difference is made by the version of the Wi-Fi, its frequency range, channel bandwidth, access scheme, etc. Hinders upgradability. One significant disadvantage of having an onboard Wi-Fi is that it hinders upgradability of the Wi-Fi network. For example, if your motherboard comes with Wi-Fi 5 card, you will not be able to upgrade it to the newer Wi-Fi 6. May have to sacrifice on a certain feature. If a motherboard features an onboard Wi-Fi, it may come at cost of another subcomponent. This is because the amount of PCIe lanes the system has are limited. For instance, the ISRock A520M slash AC Wi-Fi does not feature the VGA port whereas the ISRock A520M HDV none Wi-Fi does. What is a Wi-Fi card? A Wi-Fi card is a high-speed PCIe device that adds Wi-Fi support for motherboard by connecting to one of its PCIe slots. Wi-Fi cards themselves are relatively affordable, but compared to USB Wi-Fi, it can be a little more expensive. However, for users with a PCIe slot to spare, this may be the best option for fast wireless connections. Pros of Wi-Fi card, high-speed connectivity. The latest PCIe Wi-Fi 6 cards have an average of 2.4 Gbps max transfer speed at 5 GHz frequency and 574 Mbps on 2.4 GHz frequency. This translates to about 300 MB slash S. Replaceable? One of the biggest advantage here is that you can replace them with a newer card. So if in the future Wi-Fi 7 is introduced, you will be able to replace it easily. Stable connection? Most PCIe Wi-Fi cards make use of the multiple input and multiple output. MIMO method using multiple antennas which basically allows the card to transmit and receive multiple data signals at a time. This further allows for higher and stable transfer speeds. Cons of Wi-Fi card Challenging to install for non-techers Wi-Fi PCIe cards can be challenging to install for the novice user. They are also more expensive than USB Wi-Fi adapters so most users on a budget would opt for the latter instead. Occupy precious PCIe slots If you do not have a PCIe slot available, they are of no good. Therefore, you need to make sure that you have both a free PCIe slot as well as a free PCIe lanes. Can cramp up space in the chassis. Finally, a Wi-Fi PCIe card can be an issue when you have cramped up space inside in the PC. In some instances, they can even block larger components like graphics card from being installed. Comparing two strong competitors is not just an easy task. However, we've done a little. But choose yours one according to your preferences. This video is just to help over the topic. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching till the end.